Hello there friends, it's Dylan and welcome back- no, it's Dylan your favorite Single loser who's never gonna have any friends And welcome the hell back to my channel y'all If you are a returning viewer today, then you will see that all of my glorious GG posters in the background They are gone, they are missing And that's because I am in my new place and they are not up yet I will have something behind me eventually because this is boring as fuck I don't know if it will be GG because I am an adult now And it does kind of feel weird to hang up K-pop posters in my bedroom Not that I wasn't an adult before, but I don't know, it feels weird now. But I might say screw it and just put them up, who knows, we'll see. Rest assured, this will probably be the only video where it looks this boring in the background, don't worry. Some of you probably saw the title of this video and started throwing tomatoes, getting ready to boo me, because this isn't the Dreamcatcher reaction video that I promised. I'm sorry, but I only have about 20 minutes to film this video before I have to leave the residence. This is literally the only time I have to film today within this 20 minute period, and I just have a feeling I can't do their entire discography in a 20 minute period. So we are going to switch it up, we are going to react to some new K-pop releases. What those will be, you might ask? I don't know yet. I'm gonna go onto YouTube and pray I find something worth watching. I know that one will be EXO member solo debut Bacon because his video is out. I know that. But everything else will be a complete surprise to both you and me. It's future Dylan here, and I have a public service announcement brought to you by the lovely team over at Amino. If any of you saw my last reaction video, then you would know that I am now on Amino making Amino stories. It is on both iOS and Android. I am a Samsung user myself. Sorry, shoot me Apple lovers, I'm sorry. Now what you've gotta do once the app is downloaded is you gotta find it, then you gotta go to it. Oh my god, revolutionary. By default, you'll be taken to the Discover page, which is where you can discover all the latest Amino stories that are tailored to you. The stories that you would be naturally interested in just show up, it's magic! But if you want to find yours truly over on Amino, you just gotta use the search feature and search Dylan underscore Jacob 72. There I am, bitch. This is my Amino profile. I only have one story up as of right now, but it's juicy, okay? It is my K-pop bias list. I get asked every day, what's your bias list? Honey, you want to find out? You gotta go to Amino Stories. There it is. And my story that's going to be going up today is really fun. It's going to be one of the questions that I loved, but I didn't get asked until I had already filmed my mukbang video. Jason asked, which SNSD member would win Drag Race and who would sashay away first? And that's such a fun topic. That's going to be my next story. So if you want to know my K-pop bias list, as well as who I think would win RuPaul's Drag Race in a Girls' Generation edition of the show, then check out my Amino profile. And thank you so much once again to the team over at Amino for sponsoring ya boy. Love you. Okay, y'all, I'm freaking out because Red Velvet has a video out that I totally forgot about. It's been at least like two or three weeks. We are watching that shit. And Idol has a new video, G Idol, but it's pronounced Idol. I think we established that, I hope. Am I wrong? Is it G Idol? Kill me. It's official. We're doing Bacon, we're doing Red Velvet, and then we're doing Idol. I am running out of time quickly. Let's get started. Bacon's solo debut is called Un Village. Let's Google it. What does Un mean? Google is telling me that Un either stands for flower or it could also stand for the United Nations. I'm gonna go with flower. That'd be weird if it stood for United Nations Village. Although that does have a ring to it. Either way, here we go. This is Un Village. I like the aesthetic already. It's kind of slow. That voice girl. They built this set really tall. He's just feeling himself. The director was like, just do your thing. And he's like, okay, will do, gladly. Who's that? What do you know? Oh, we're in color now, girl. Those shoes. He looks so good that it looks like CGI. It looks like a computer made him. Those pants, though. Looks like he's in a Kingdom Hearts video game. Where's the village? Is that the map to the village? Oh. I typically don't like a middle part. But when you have a face like that, you can kind of do anything. Rolling heels? Oh, 
That ass. This is, oh, ring ding dong, T. I saw that ring ding dong inspo at the end there. Oh, who's that? Is he dead? He found the village, but he died. Okay, quick reaction. I thought it was cool and groovy and I'm lame. It was a very chill bop and it sounded definitely very pleasant throughout the entire time because his vocals are perfect. It didn't really sound single worthy to me. I'm a little bit surprised that that is the single off his first like solo debut album, but it was good. Let's check out the English translation to see what this boy was singing about the whole time. And sorry if I'm rushing, I've got to go. So I've got to make this quick. Navigation to a Korean children's park, don't know how to pronounce it, but a Korean children's park. Press start and step on the gas to the place that only I knew, but now everyone will try to come up here. I hate when that happens, when you discover like a cute place that is like your own and then it becomes popular and everybody starts showing up. It's like, get out of here humans. Like what, ew. Anywhere, everywhere, anywhere. I can see everything, girl. That's disappointing. Even if you say you already know, in a fresh way, I'll lead you, lean on me. Only I have the right to spend this special time with you. I know that, I know that, I know that. Right now we're uh, in Village Hill. It's more Korean. I don't, I don't, I feel stupid. Hanam Dong, Hanam Dong in Village Hill. That can't be right, but that's what I see. Looking at the moon from this hill, you and me, mm, yeah, un village hill, side by side, looking at the moon, you and me, relax and chilling, a eh, yeah. It won't look perfect on you, just in this moment, let everything flow naturally to where the wind blows. When I whisper love, I yearn, oh, I haven't heard that word in a while, hmm. I yearn for when your indifferences, oh God, I can't read. I yearn for when your indifferent eyes tell me you love me. The pre-chorus and chorus repeat, they're exactly the same. The bridge is rolling, rolling, rolling hills. I was right, is that what I said? Or did I say heel? Bitch, you said heel. Along the curves of the hill, rolling, rolling hills. As we climb this broken street light, when I see one, I turn off the lights under it because you're bright enough to light it up. That's cute. You're so bright, bitch. You light up the street, girl. It's a pretty short song and the message is very simple. If I had to give Un Village a grade, I think I would give it like four out of five. Four out of five bacon heads because it was good. The ingredients were perfect. His vocals, his visuals, the ingredients were perfect, but how they were put together and the execution didn't get that five stars. Do you know what I mean? Quality produce, but not perfect cooking. Like it was a little bit underdone. Just a little bit though, still great. Time for Red Velvet, my girls. Oh my God, I'm excited. I don't know what to expect, but from what I've seen on Twitter, this song sounds weird and I'm all down for that. I can tell that it's gonna sound weird. The title is Zim Zam Lablam, no. Zim Zalabim, Zim Zalabim. What? Well, let's check it out, Red Velvet. What are you serving me today? The Rev Festival. Tickets. This is cute. It already sounds pretty weird. Zim Zalabim. Oh, I see budget. I see queens. Okay. That was pretty. Oh, yes. Na 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 na. God, Irene. I can't. I can't say it. Despite the fact that I can't pronounce it, I actually really liked that part. I guess. Why do I love this part of the song? Why is this my favorite part? Oh, okay. Okay. Wow. This is literally the weirdest song I've ever heard. Now this part actually sounds like a Red Velvet song. <laughs> I don't know what everything else was. Oh my gosh, Wendy. Abs. Yes! Zim, 
It's like, I know it's annoying. It's kind of like with Rookie. That bit. Zim. I can't do it. Zim. Well, this part sounds good. Na, 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 na. Where are we going? Everyone was right, that was the weirdest song I've ever heard. That was also the weirdest video I've ever seen. What just happened? I think I'm gonna need to take a, a break to even figure out what to think about that. I'm gonna need a good year to form an opinion because there were elements where I was totally jamming and then there were elements where I was just totally confused. SM, once again, SM loves to put like six songs together and call it one song. They've done it again. And sometimes it grows on me and sometimes I end up liking it. I can only think of Sherlock and I Got a Boy and Red Light and I like all those songs. So maybe I will love this, but it's definitely not an instant bop. It's definitely going to be a grower, if anything. But to my surprise, I actually love the Zim Salabim moment, the chorus, even though I know it sounded like annoying. I acknowledge the fact that it sounded annoying, but I loved it. Is that weird? Let's check out these lyrics. I have no idea what the message of the song is gonna be. Literally no clue. I don't know what Zimzalabim means. I don't even know what it could mean. It doesn't sound like a bunch of words put together. It sounds like a made up, super califragilistic, expialidocious type shit. I don't know. Verse one. After chasing anything, don't get burnt out. If you only just sit and wish for it, it won't come true. Oh, I agree with that. You gotta do shit. You can't just wish it. Take a look at your true self. See what you really want. What do you want? Tell me. Should we have fun today? Girl, Yes. Throw all your worries over the flat earth. Oh, we're flat earthers now, are we? To the incantation blooming out of your lips. I don't know what incantation means. See, I don't even know English, let alone Korean. Let yourself go. The chorus is Zimzalabim. That's the entire chorus. There is nothing else but that word. I'm gonna guess that maybe Zimzalabim is a made up word for this song and it kind of stands for everything they just said in the first verse, like take control of your life and do what you want and have fun. Maybe that's what they made this word to mean. Oh my, look at you smiling so brightly. Don't be too surprised. That's exactly who you are. At the moment you cast a spell, everyone becomes happy. You've become accustomed to this restrictive world and now you're just numb to it all. Ooh. Why am I relating to a song called Zimzalabim? Hey girls, are you ready? Let's look for your dreams that have faded away and vanished. Let's run after it together, boys. Okay, we're inviting all genders to the pool. Well, not all, two. But I'm sure Red Velvet loves every gender, am I right? These girls are gay icons. Shout out loud in a playful voice. Leave everything behind. And then we sing about Zimzalabim some more. Look at your eyes filled with hope. They're shining like a gem. Oh, don't wander aimlessly so far away. Your dazzling smile more brightly. The dream is inside you. And then we just sing about Zims some more. Zimzalabim, bitch. You know what? I like the message of that song. Very, very positive message. Last video of the day and I have no time. Like, I don't know if I'll be able to read the lyrics for this one because I have literally no time. But this is um, Idol. Uh-oh. It's a very fitting title for this particular predicament that I am in right now. Uh-oh, let's go, bitch. This reminds me of the video game NBA Street. The music. <gasps> Deep voice, oh my god. Okay. Everyone looks so different from the last time I saw them. Like I only recognize two of them so far. Deep voice and the one that's really, really cute. Her. Okay, this is really cool. Whose idea was this? They need a raise, whoever directed this video and suggested that flame microphone. Yes. Oh, yes, bitch! Wow. Don't mess with her. We are queens of the club.
Uh oh, bitch. Okay, Idol, I thought that was cute. I especially loved when all the dancers came in and supported you in that final act of the video. Fantastic. I think the director deserves a raise because he had some fun ideas with the with the fire pole fire thing. I've gotta go. I love you all. Sorry for this rushed ending. I'll probably change the ending and editing, but that's it for today. Bye. Airplane.